Welcome back to the ICF Mountain House Build. Busy morning this morning. It's about 9 o'clock and about 34 degrees. Uh, today is concrete pour day. Last video we got the Fox Blocks first floor forms stacked, bucked, and braced. Today we're going to pour concrete. We're waiting on the truck. It should be here in about 30 minutes. Pump truck is here. He's set up and ready to go. Just had a lumber delivery for the first floor sub floor, or the second floor sub floor that will be built on top of this. Uh, also the interior walls, so we got a bunch of lumber. Uh, just waiting on the truck and uh, gonna get going. Right. First floor wall studs, first, second floor sub floor, more Advantech. Second floor joists, the pump main. Cutting the sleeve for the dry vent right there. Some people were asking about uh, electrical for the outside of the walls. That's what we do right there. Just put a one inch PVC right through the wall, pour concrete around it, and then we can run our wire. Right here's one for the outside light for the back door. So once concrete's in, we cut that flush, and then we got a little conduit to run our wire through. We got uh, one on each side of these French doors, and then one down here for an outside outlet, and there's one over here under the kitchen window for outside outlet. And we're just finishing uh, gluing everything up. We're pumping concrete. Got about nine yards of concrete in the green truck, pumping through the pump truck. Into the wall. Brian's running the hose, Victor is consolidating. And we'll probably make about three laps. So four, each lap will pour uh, two of those courses. And the next course will do that, the next course will do that. Three laps.
the holes in this buck so we could vibrate the concrete up and that's what we're doing here. I guess we just scrape that off before it completely cures. Getting concrete on the floor. Gotta get that up. first truck is done and gone already it's only 10 30 and we're just waiting on the second truck uh, I think we ordered a total of 19 yards nine and a half yards on each truck so might have to go see if I can find the other truck sometimes they tend to get lost All right. so far so good fingers crossed everything's going good snag some of the headers are bulging at the top of the windows so we're gonna strap those up real quick yeah that's a little bit of a problem don't want that the next day I wish I could say that that pour went as well as the basement pour but uh, not quite and there wasn't any major disasters but we did run into that issue with the headers bulging at the top of the window and door openings and so we had to kind of rush to strap those up and vibrate them and get it kind of smushed together there's still a couple places where it's a little bulgy but they'll come back and shave that and sand it down flat when they take the bracing off code called for about 37 anchor bolts I bought a box of 50 so we used all of them <laughs> uh, one foot from each corner and then about every four feet around the perimeter that should be plenty to hold down a 2x10 sill plate for the second floor and that'll be uh, next video I guess that's when we're gonna start framing the interior walls and well first we have to frame a center load bearing wall and then the second floor subfloor so That'll be the next video, I guess. See you then.